guys, now it's time for my story of the week. Uh, my story of the week is a pretty sad one, actually. In fact, I'm going to mm, tell you the truth. Uh, as I read it, I started to cry my eyes out. And it's not just because uh, I have a couple of children around the age of uh, the child in this story. This is the story of the Lebensborn program. This was a program which started um, in the 1930s in Nazi Germany. Uh, and essentially, it was part of their mad, cataclysmic uh, racial Idea, ideas and ideology. Uh, and what happened during the Second World War was that um, as part of actually the eradication of the Polish nation and the um, abdication of the entire country, uh, there was this madcap, insane plan uh, to effectively kidnap or steal Polish children who qualified according to this mad ideology and to take them back to Germany to be fostered, uh, to be adopted. Um, by German parents, typically SS parents. And this is an exclusive interview for the First News uh, with Darius um, Jekan, if I remember his surname correctly, Jekan, I think, uh, yes, who is the son of one of these uh, uh, children who was kidnapped um, in uh, the 1940s. Guys, this is a horrible story because what I uncovered, I, I, I'd heard about this, I didn't realise the scale, it was only by reading Stuart Dowes, our guest from last week's episode, it was only by reading uh, this article that I began to understand just what a horrific story this is. They took maybe upwards of 200,000, perhaps even as many as a quarter of a million Polish children uh, from the country of Poland, from the territory, the former territory of Poland, uh, into Germany. And Dariusz's mother was one of these children. I'm just going to ask producer Camille if you can show us this story. What Stuart has done is it, it's, it's beautiful, it's beautifully written, um, it's a really lovely story in terms of how much he explains in it. Uh, his mother was effectively kidnapped, uh, I think at about, about four or five, uh, taken to Germany. Her name was Halina, she was renamed as Uta, and she was then brought up in a pretty comfortable um, a German family in, in Saxony. The father of uh, the woman who, who adopted her or, or kidnapped her effectively uh, was actually some member of the German armed forces. They don't yet know uh, what. Uh, perhaps he was even a member of the SS. He was often away, he was often in a uniform. That's all that Dariusz's mother uh, could remember. What makes this story so extraordinary is that Halina actually returned to Poland. And this is the tragedy of this story. So I talked about maybe upwards of a quarter of a billion, perhaps 200,000. The exact numbers we'll probably never know. Um, according to the article which um, Stuart's written here, and I was talking to him yesterday, he did a huge amount of research, um, something around maybe 15, so one in six, maybe 20%, one in five of those children returned. So just to give you an idea of what happened to these children, they were taken to these kind of called children's villages, but effectively were re-education centers. And they were beaten if they spoke Polish. They were taught German, um, taught without an accent. They were given um, new um, identities, new names. Halina became Uta. And effectively, they were depolonized. And this was part, as I say, of the eradication of the Polish nation. Um, she was one of the few people who came back, Halina, but she came back to a family that had been murdered during the Second World War. She never um, saw her mother and father again. And there's this line at the end, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a little emotional because my children are more or less the same age that uh, Halina was. There's this line at the end of Stuart's article, which just had my heart in my mouth, where Darius talks about the kind of woman that his mother was. She didn't want to talk about this story, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. you know, the, the trauma of being kidnapped from your parents, not just once, but 200,000 times uh, across the, the nation. And um, there's this line around, uh, Stuart asked her, uh, him, sorry, Darius, what was your mother like? And, and, and he said here, she was caring. I'm not sure if she was happy. She'd been through too much to be happy. Now, we know that what happens to you as a child can stay with you for the rest of your life. I just think, like, the trauma of seeing my children taken away from me, uh, and then obviously for her, Halina, uh, never coming back to her parents who were killed somewhere around Poznan. But what's fascinating about this is that Halina stayed in contact uh, with her adopted or, I don't know, kidnapped German mother, and actually effectively treated her as a kind of pseudo-mother. Mm -hmm. And even Dariusz, up until this lady died, was in contact with her, sending her letters. So despite this trauma, they, they still stayed in contact. But this German mother, she was, she was quite nice to her, right? Yeah. She was a loving parent, she as was far lucky. as I understood. So this relationship is so much harder because Halina, she comes back to Poland. Yeah. 
and she is told by everyone that Germans are the enemy, but to mm. her that's the loving person who's been taking care of her for her like you know younger y years. So I cannot even imagine the state of her mind and yeah. this duality of are Germans good, are yeah, they yeah, bad? Yeah, it is a duality, isn't it? Now, on the one hand, they've kidnapped you. On the other hand, they're very nice to you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. We're going to talk, we seem to be talking a lot about the Second yeah, World War. <laughs> um, you know, some people, when they came to Poland for the first time, my friends, they were like, oh, you Polish people are like clothes. They're not very friendly. Mm. And you think, well, just think about the effect of the Second World War on this nation. You know, what happens in our history echoes through time with us now. Definitely. You know, we spend our lives talking about this. Definitely. And I think, for example, I mean, England, where the last time we were in, the Brits were invaded was 1066. It's a couple of uh, thousand years ago. Essentially. Almost a thousand years ago. I mean, this is William the Conqueror. No one's really managed to make it onto the British Isles. You know, it's a... A different... Uh, a, you look at the countryside, yeah. there's pubs, there's old houses. They were all flattened, you know, tanks just rode over them and yeah. destroyed them. And obviously, this has probably had an effect on Danish. Now, there's one great thing about the story, which is... Um, having explained this story to our reporter on the TFN website, you can read this article, uh, it's on there, my, my mum was kidnapped by Hitler's SS. Dadish has actually started to go back to the story and he's now determined to uncover the roots and try and find out you know, what happened to this German family, maybe even find out what happened to his gra real grandparents, because he, do he doesn't know they were caught up in this cataclysm of war. Pretty emotional story, guys. I'm uh, I was close to tears uh, just telling you about it now. Uh, I highly recommend this story. It's an exclusive on the First News website.